Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and if you like my vibe, subscribe, because you all, I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers, and I would really appreciate your help to help me reach that goal by September. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Mon Perry line of fragrances that I have in my collection. And I decided to review this line because I was talking to a friend of mine and she was, well, she bought Mon Perry, the original, because um, I wore it to work. She fell in love. We had been talking about it. And when I wore it, she's like, oh my goodness, you smell so good. What is that? And I told her and she said, oh, I'm just going to buy it right now. And she was asking me about some of the flankers. So I decided to do a video on the ones I have in my collection. I know there are some limited edition flankers out uh, that have been released. I don't know if they all smell different. I've heard that they, they're they all just uh, YSL Mon Perry. And then I hear some people say that they do have a little distinction between them. But I have the four um, main fragrances from this line. I don't have any of the limited edition. So I'm gonna start with the original and that is YSL Mon Perry. And it's a beautiful, classy, girly bottle. This is described as a fruity, sweet fragrance. It has notes of juicy bergamot, strawberry, raspberry, pear, datura, flower, peony, Chinese and sambac jasmine, orange blossom, white musk, and broxen and patchouli. A lot of notes, you all. So let's smell it. So I have talked about this numerous times on my channel. And to me, it is a girly, feminine, but grown up. When I say girly, I don't mean childish. I mean, if you're like a girly girl, you like pink, you like, you know, just a girly girl. That's what this gives me. I smell, I smell the strawberry, I smell the raspberry, I smell pear. I do get the patchouli. So I would say this is a fruitchouli fragrance. It's really, yeah, I would say it's a, a perfect blend of the fruits and the patchouli. You get some of the musk I do towards the, like a few hours into wearing this fragrance. This lasts all day on me, on my skin. I, did, I don't, okay, the first time I wore this, I sprayed it on my skin and my clothes. Y'all, I almost choked myself out and I gave myself a headache that day at work. That's what I was getting all the compliments. <laughs> but I sprayed too much of this because this can get cloying. It can be headache inducing. I, I don't get headaches easily from fragrances, but when I spray, cause I'm a heavy sprayer on my skin for one, and then I sprayed my clothes on my heavy sprayer. So I was like enveloped, engulfed in Mon Perry. And it has great projection, great sillage. This smells gorgeous in the air. It smells good, you know, smelling it from the bottle and spraying it. It does smell good. But when uh, my friend at work purchased it and she came in and said, oh, you wear Mon Perry. It smells so good in the air and it is distinctive. And whenever I would wear this, I would receive compliments. And she told me every time she would wear it, she received compliments too. It's the ultimate girly, feminine fragrance. Just don't overspray it if you're one to get headaches or be sensitive to strong scents because it can get cloying. But it is gorgeous. I love it. I think most people, most people know how this smells. But I want to go over it again. It's fruity. It's slightly sweet, but think like a tart sweetness. And it, you do smell that patchouli. Like I said, it's to me a very much a patchouli fragrance. And on the dry down for me, I get that must to come out the longer I wear it. But I do thoroughly love and enjoy this fragrance. So that's the original Mon Perry. So I'm going to go in order of their release dates of when they were released. So next is Mon Oh, and that is an Eau de Parfum. 
I believe this is two. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, I think these are all. This is Mon Pali Couture. Cute bottle also. The ribbon is different with the polka dots on there. Very cute. This fragrance is described as a fruity and citrus floral. It has notes of Dartura, rosebud, grapefruit, peony, orange blossom, patchouli, and white musk. So let's smell. So this fragrance to me, it is fruity. But it's very soft. Like the original, it's in your face. The it's a very in your face fragrance. This one is the more toned down version of Mon Perry. You do get more of the citrus notes in this. I think it's that grapefruit I'm smelling. Yeah, I would say. This one, I would, if you want a citrus version of the Mon Perry, this would be the one for you because it's still fruity, but you get that, that citrus zestiness, you know, you can get from citrus fragrances. And I do get a soft, very soft floral. Let me spray this one. Cause like I said, this is very soft. Now when I wore this, this lasted on my skin and spraying it on my clothes. It was like four to six hours. Yeah. This is the, the Mon Perry Couture. Is the softer, fresher, more citrus, like a hint of floral version of the original Mon Perry, but definitely softer. Like I said, I sprayed this and I sprayed heavily and it was like, it disappeared. And that doesn't happen to me a lot with fragrances because I have the type of body chemistry I've learned that fragrances tend to last on me. Like some people say, oh, this disappears. I, I really don't have that problem usually with fragrances so when someone says it in a review that doesn't you know deter me too much because i don't usually have that problem this one it lasted oh did i wear this when i wore it i think i got this when it was colder and i said i just want to try it it does not do well in the cool weather at all it does not last nothing but when I wore it, when it was warmer, it did last longer. It did project more, but it was still moderate projection, moderate lasting power, moderate sillage. But it's, a, it's like I said, it's softer. If Mon Perry, the original is too much for you, because some people that fragrance is too much. This one smells like it, but a more toned down, more citrus version of Mon Perry, the original. And this one, I would say, go to town and spray it down. Because, yeah, you have to overspray with this for it to last, for you to be able to smell it on yourself. You have to overspray this one. Okay, the next fragrance was the, is the Mon Perry Florel. And the ribbon is different. This is more of a peachy gold pinky like a rose gold color juice on this one now mon Perry florel is described as a floral fruity fragrance also it has notes it has citrus notes peach datura white rose peony jasmine sambac orange blossom magnolia and patchouli musk and cashmere wood so let's smell this. Now this one, I always have to spray it. I cannot, I don't know what it is with this fragrance. You cannot smell it from the bottle. I can't. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so to me, the Mon Perry Florel is the more floral version, which the name fits. It's the more floral, citrus fragrance and the freshest version of this line. It's, it's fresher than the... Mon Perry Couture. This is the freshest version. Now this also lasts only lasts four to six hours on my skin and my clothes. This to me is the weakest version in this whole line. I would say below moderate projection and sillage. It just It's a nice fragrance. Like all of these fragrances are nice, but this is the one I am very disappointed in. I, extremely disappointed in. Yeah. It was like I would spray this and I just couldn't smell it. And to be fair, I, I think I wore this when it was cooler. And I think I wore it again. I just, this is not a love for me. This one isn't. But if you want a more floral, if you love the floral aspects out of the Mon Perry line, then this is the most floral. This is the most floral. It's the freshest version of this line, in my opinion. It also is the weakest though. So keep that in mind. So this one, spray extremely heavily this is one you might want to spray let it dry do something and spray again and then spray your clothes to help it project to help it last longer because this is one like i said i had, had difficulty smelling it on myself so keep that in mind if you want the more floral version of this it's also the weakest so be prepared to spray heavily Okay, the last one and the newest release is the Mon Perry Intense Mint. Oh, this is my favorite bottle. It is gorgeous. So this is described as a Shiper floral with no notes of bergamot, pear, raspberry, black currant, orange, datura, May rose, Bulgarian rose, peony, freesia, cashmere, patchouli, benzoin, white musk, and vanilla. I can smell this faintly, but let's just go ahead and spray. <sighs> oh, yes. This to me, Mon Perry Intense Mint is the sexier, deeper version of the Mon Perry, the original. Oh my goodness. If the way, look at this bottle. Now look at the Mon Perry bottle. And you know, this to me is girly, playful, even the bottle. This bottle to me, the way it's set up, to me it looks alluring and sexy and that's the vibe i get from this fragrance oh no that's the other one. Oh, and i love the the black currant in this i can smell and i love the vanilla oh think of a smoother deeper version Less fruity, still fruity than the original, but just a smooth, it's just smooth. A smooth, berry, vanilla, sexy fragrance. Oh, I love this. So this lasts eight hours on my skin. I don't believe I sprayed this on my clothes. And it has a moderate, what did I say moderate? Yeah, I would say moderate projection, moderate sillage. I, don't, I haven't gotten a chance. I purchased this during the quarantine 
and I haven't really worn it out or like as an outfit all day fragrance. So I'm gonna say moderate from where I could smell it, testing it out at home, but it might change when I wear it out. But I love it. Oh, love this fragrance. So we're going to rate the fragrances from my least favorite to my favorite. So my least favorite, as you all can probably guess, is the YSL Mon Paris Floral. This is my least favorite. So number four. Number three, I would have to say Mon Paris uh, Couture. Love it, but like I said, the, the floral and this one, these are the, they're not great performers. Number two is Mon Perry, the original. I bet you're like, oh my goodness. But yeah, this is number two for me. Love it, but, and it started it all, but I love Mon Perry Intense Mint. This is number one. I love this fragrance. So you all, if you enjoyed this review of the Mon Perry line and find it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video and share this video with anyone who would be interested because we are almost to 1,000 subscribers and we're just going to have a good old time when we reach that goal. So as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Bye.